Alrighty folks, welcome back to Leafs Odyssey. I actually don't remember what I was doing last time. Did I just do the... Yeah, I just done this, the um, slug act two, right? Slug marsh, what was it called? Yeah, slug marsh. Um, it's interesting that it changes from the, the, the marshy land to the kind of boardwalk stuff. Uh, that was a really neat area, wasn't it? Oh yeah, we had we had some silly, but we had a silly puzzle, and we had some very intricate looping puzzles. What, that was called cycles. Yes. Okay. Um, all right. So I guess if we're continuing, if we're continuing this pattern, that means we're going over here next. Yeah, that is the order I did things last time. Um, but apparently, I've got some keys on me. Ooh. ooh. Oh no. Oh no. Wait, but I've also got two green keys. Wait, how's this work again? Oh yeah, the two green keys I get to, the, to, to get to the act twos that I'm going to. But we do also have access to this and something through here as well. Uh, should I take, I'll take a little peek. Okay, so another red door. The Hall of Sacrifice, oh dear. What on earth is that thing in the middle? New music as well. I like how every area has its music. And there's this, Invincible, another red door. Okay, so you suggesting to me, wait, so uh, what am I doing? <laughs> so I opened these, got the green keys, and the green keys are giving me red keys, and the red keys are giving me access to this. Are there more red doors down here? Because like ultimately to go any further up the tower we need purple keys. We haven't seen this before. So it must be that down here we're gonna like we're gonna get one more red key, it's gonna let us in here, and this will lead to a purple key. That must be it, right? Okay. Let us just wander over to by wander I mean teleport to the canyon entrance. And yeah, this is actually only two rooms away anyway, isn't it? Uh okay. Okay, this is gonna be scary. <clears throat> tight squeeze. I mean, I can see what the tight squeeze might be. I think it might be this path here. Uh, so that will kill all the eyes. Okay, and I can't kill any of them myself because there's hot coals next to them. We also have a flying snake here and an eye down here and a statue. And there is a monster gate, so all the monsters have to die. So what can stand on there? Um, oh gosh, I forgot how everything moves. I mean, I could look it up in here. <laughs> uh, no, flying snakes don't move diagonally. Statues do move diagonally. Okay, but I can't get a statue there, can I? Or maybe I can because they don't like path finds. I could like stand here and it would go up, right? Hmm. Okay. So why is there a flying snake out here? What, so what is this situation? What, what, like here, I mean, I can release you. There's also an eye here. So why, why do I care? I can, I can kill you and I can kill you. <clears throat> so why that layout? That's a curious layout. I can kill them both. I can get the flying snake. Okay, let's also walk through this and see what the problems are. So, I mean, there are various routes I could go. Uh, that's inherently bad, because they can both see me. In fact, is there a way to avoid that kind of situation? Yeah, there is, here. Okay, so I can get in. And then, hello, friend. I mean, you wouldn't be able to, oh, you're gonna die on there, okay. Not if I wait a little bit longer. I think it's stuck there. Oh. Okay, I'm just like, I'm just feeling through the puzzle, trying to understand like what the constraints are. So if you follow me up there, you're going to end up going into that. I guess maybe if I got the flying snake onto here, so that you don't go there, and then I walk around up to here and you go onto that. That feels like what this setup is supposed to be. Then why the eye situation? What's that all about? Because I can just leave the eye not visible and deal with it later. There's clearly something more to that, right? Oh, does it, okay, so if I break this, the flying snake is immediately next to me. But if I do this, 
the flying snakes behind me. That's what that set was for. Okay. And then you're telling me I have to somehow, I, oh gosh. Yeah, I see what the issue is. So you've got to follow me through and I've got to avoid killing you. <laughs> well, you're going to die there. I mean, you're just going to keep going back and forth unless I let you come forwards, which maybe I'm okay to do. Yeah, this is fine, actually. Yes. Okay, perfectly fine. And then we're done. Yay! Am I done? Cut. Oh. How do I deal with you now? How do I deal with you now? Uh, I did not think. Oh, hold on. I can move. I can still move you. Yes, you're not stuck there forever. Oh, I can just get you to come back out the other side, can't I? So we just do this. Can I? Ooh, maybe I can't. Can I? Okay, but now I can get you to go past there. Yeah, okay, cool. Whew, thought that was more of a problem than it was. Battlement. What's going on here? Okay. Two monster gates. Uh, lots of monsters. Bunch of eyes. I, I, I like that eyes can't move. It, it gives me... It's like it's nice to have an enemy that isn't something I have to like keep track of and move around the level. It's just something I've got to kind of deal with in terms of, in terms of like avoiding it shooting me. So I, 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 I. Monster block, bomb bug, slug. Is that everything? <laughs> Is that everything? I mean, it's a lot of things. But it's not everything. <laughs> Uh, okay, so that'll go down. So that's a slug barrier. Well, I mean, that's an everything not everything that's not a slug barrier. Um, so slug's going over there. It's going to hold it down. It's going to die because of the hot coals underneath. So I need to be ready to go in if I'm going in. I don't know if, if I don't know that I definitely am, but it's an idea. Uh, what does that do? That oh, that t wait, hold on. Wait, uh, uh, uh. Okay, so both of these things toggle that. So is this more about getting in to kill these than I hit this to let myself back out? I think that might be what that is. Okay. And why would I not just push this in the water and go over? I'm sure there's a reason. Let's start, like, playing with the level to find out. Okay, so that's also doing those. I could let the slug turn around if I don't want the slug to be released immediately. Ooh, the slug's basically a timer then. Right. Oh, gosh. Oh, and I'm held back by these two. Interesting. Okay, so the slug's gonna get in my way. So let's do this. Uh, let's do... Th no. This? I think that is slightly more optimal. Yes, okay. We are through. Now what? We could go this way, you can just follow behind me. Because my main thing was to go down, but it's possible I want to be up here and I'd be losing my chance to do that. Whereas I definitely am going left, so I might as well just go left. But at this point, I might be going down or left, so I need to think about it. Um, so you exist, so in fact, if I step in front of you... Oh no, because you're, slow, you're slower than me, so it's going to be fine. So what's going on with this situation? We've got a bomb bug here. But obviously I can set you off by standing here. Uh, I'm also not going to be killing you myself. Okay, so how are you dying? How are you dying? I'm not killing you myself because I'd have to step here and stand here for a second. Or a turn. There are no seconds when your universe is turn-based. There are only turns. Okay. Can't stand here to kill you, so how are you dying? How are you dying? What else could do it? Like the eye? No. The bomb bug I can't get. Oh, yes. Scaring the bomb bug up. I'm stepping there. I, I guess I hope that you kill you before you shoot. But yeah, that seems to be what's going on. However, we've got the problem of a slug moving as well. Though, no, that's maybe fine. Okay, so then these are going to be a problem again. But if I walk further over... Okay, interesting. 
I don't think I necessarily want this. Because you're just going to go towards this eye now. And then here, and then go around in the loop, I guess. So it's interesting that that's ha Oh. It's interesting that that's happened. And I can do- let's just test out this bit. Oh, you'll blow up anyway, I didn't need to step there, okay. But then the slug needs to end up on that thing, and I need to go in here and go there. Why does this eye exist? Because it's like, pretty easy to kill. Okay, so could- nothing- I don't think anything could have been faster up to this point. That slug is gonna be there. And so, either I let it go forwards, like I could let it go, and then- oh, but then the- I mean, just double check the rules. Yeah, that gets destroyed and I can't use it anymore, so no. If I'm going up, I'm going up now. And then we, if I'm going to get there, I've got to do it like this. Obviously I can... Oh yeah, okay, I can just do... Oh. That's maybe... Do th uh... Oh, okay. I've just got to get this timing right, I'm going to shove this in front of the slug. Okay, slug is safe. I think I've got to push one more, then go round to that. Perfect. Bring this this way. Oh. So I think that eye is there to make this a problem. I bet every turn here is like, like timing perfect. That's going to do that. I'm going to go up this way. Uh, I've got a bit of time to get past you. But do I have exactly the right amount of time to get to here? I mean, I had exactly one extra turn. But Get you. Get you. Ta-da! Neat. Three lanes. Let's check the map. Where are we going? We're going over here. Is there a consistency to how many... Um, can I... So, okay, so I can move around on the map with my keys, but I can't go to the... Go up and down. I wonder if there is a key that does it. I don't know what it would be. Oh, I pressed E. Pre preview. Okay, now I'm back here. Uh, I know this game has like lots of settings. <laughs> lots of settings. Uh, next, oh yeah, page up, page down. Okay, show room initial state. Oh, interesting, cool. Uh, but like, look at, look at advanced settings. Panel layout, left top. Ooh, ooh, sure. <laughs> Show initial state hold. Okay, so that was what was it? I what what was the key? I can't remember. I'll I'll press some random keys afterwards. Um, hide cursor on keyboard or game input. Right. Oh, does it do that? Oh, it does. Okay. <laughs> Hadn't even noticed. Uh, that's that's handy because like often you don't want it to be showing. Like you move it over to point at stuff, um, and then you don't want it to be showing while you're doing other stuff. That is probably the nicest behavior to give to a cursor, especially when the cursor. Like, obviously, if the cursor has, like, gameplay implications, you want it to be showing. But um, in this case, it's just, you know, for pointing and, and inspecting. Uh, allow weight moves after death. No. Oh, undo room reset, interrupt, repeat. Right. Yeah, I've noticed that behavior. So when I'm, when I'm doing undo, and I hold, if I hold down undo, it'll undo, like, fast. But it will stop at the room start. Like if I if I did a reset, you can keep tapping undo and you can go back through the the reset. You can undo the reset, but not if you're holding down undo. I can tap through, but I can't un uh, hold it down. Allow wait moves after death. Oh, okay, interesting. So you could keep simulating the room. That could be handy in certain situations. I think maybe. And I wonder why it's the default to say no. Interrupt movement when changing rooms, uncleared. Interrupt movement when changing rooms, uncleared. So if a room's uncleared... So this room's uncleared. So wait. So I'm holding left there. Is it to do with that? Oh, it is to do with that. So if you walk into a room that's uncleared, then you don't continue moving, but if you walk into a room that is cleared and you hold down the key the whole time, you keep going. <laughs> Curious. I mean, I guess it makes sense. I think that's, that's probably based on the idea that, like, kind of, as I was saying before, like, the, the drawed way of 
playing these games is that you you don't move around when you get in there because you're going to be affecting the state. So you sort of want to not move so the state is exactly as it was at the beginning. Like the initial state in these games is like more important than in like other kinds of games because there are things moving in ways that it's not just a repeating motion. It's not going to just go back to the way it was. It's not like a like like that initial state is is potentially or, or like doing a move that like doesn't feel like an action like just moving or waiting can be like a, a, a like a, a, a one way direction through the state graph like you might want to specifically do a specific move at the in the very initial state uh, or you know in one of the very early initial states to solve the level because of the fact that other things are moving based on where you are waiting or where you are moving. Um, unlike in most, like I think that's like kind of the core of what makes a stepping puzzle game a stepping puzzle game as opposed to like the other kinds of grid-based, like turn-based, grid-based stuff um, is that in those, like, well, I mean, I, th I think it's more a consequence of the difference Um but yeah, in those typically walking around is not something that affects the initial state. There might there might even be some things that like move when you move, but although I think I think as soon as you've got that, I'd probably like well, <laughs> I guess it depends on whether it's a core part of the game or not. Like all, all these like lines between what makes a game this kind of game or this other kind of game, they're always blurry. Um it's just like a gradual thing. Like depending on how many of you like if you if you have like one stepping enemy in your game, but there's like loads of stuff that's not like that. Is it really it's not like a drod like, is it? But I don't know. <laughs> uh anyway. What are we doing? Three lanes. Let's solve a puzzle. I see the three lanes. They're down here. Oh, or maybe not. There might be like three horizontal lanes and three vertical lanes. I like how I had all that that speech about like initial states and then just like ran over here to start doing stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, let's try that key. Is it I? Yeah, it's I. Okay, so if I hold I, I get three lanes initial. Neat. Cool. All right, so we have a flying snake. Uh, so the, the goal is to kill all the monsters. There are lots of eyes. There's a bomb bug and there's a statue and a flying snake. I think that's everything. Um, so before I do anything, there's not much I can do except like hit these trapdoors and stop pushing these blocks. These are blocks that will slide once they're on the eyes. And I can't go back at that point. That's curious. But I guess I can loop around. Is that going to be the idea? That must be the idea, right? Because I don't think I want to push one of these things back. I mean... Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> Curious. So it looks like I'm going to be going through here and looping back. What opens you? That one does. That makes sense. Okay, so standing there, I can just let myself through. There is the statue. And there's these. Okay, got it. So, you are killing these folks. Yes? Um, so these all need to be down and those are three separate things with three separate enemies dealing with it so this is going to be the opposite right because like I think I guess eyes do, do eyes press plates? I think so right? they look like they're on the ground um, so so kill you What's going on here? Oh, interesting. So you're on a trapdoor as well, or a toggle floor, sorry. So if you... Uh, wait, what? So if you move there, you die, which is not good. That's definitely not good. Like, I'm not making these kill each other. I'm definitely making you kill them. So if you go there, that's bad. But I do want you off that, that um, pressure plate. Okay, what? So I could blow you up, but to blow you up I'd have to stand like here or here, which isn't going to happen. Oh, the eye can kill you. Oh, but you'll still come this way. Unless... This is where the statue comes in handy. Can I get the statue like... Oh, or the flying snake. Can I get the flying snake there? 
Yeah, I could get you to walk parallel next to me. By walk, I mean fly parallel next to me. So I step here, the flying snake's here, so you don't move. I step down. Or we could be going upwards, I guess. I have to figure that out. But I will shoot you. But I will still be there, but I can get rid of it later. But you'll be dead, but you won't be on here. Yeah, okay. We do also need this to be pressed at some point, and that sounds like it's going to be the statue rubble, right? Okay, um, there's going to also be something to do with these. Like, there's going to be some reason I want to do these in a certain order, right? And is it just that, do these just exist to like protect me from things? Okay, those are also trapdoors. Right, they're a different color because they're on a different thing. They're over a different thing. So my, my, my instinct is just to kill you, but like, there's going to be a reason I don't want to do that, right? But let's just kind of stick with that, I think. So yeah, I think I want you to like just follow right behind me. And then we'll... Mm, what will you do in this case? You'll do that. How do I like change your direction? Ow. Uh, how do I do it? I have to make you like go upwards or, or downwards. I guess I can make that happen. Go up in that column. Yeah. Okay. I think I got that to work. Cool. Now why do I care about the next one? Because I have to get to that eye. Because I can't go this way. Have I, have I just happened to have done these in the right order? Or is there a reason this one's bad for this one? Maybe. Like, can I not just walk up to you? Oh, but then these two are a problem, right? Okay, so that one had to be for this one, I think. So, oh, am I being silly here? I did, no, I'm not being silly. Because I can't stand there while you're in your like rest phase, right? No. Okay, so I think, oh, not me to leave. Let me just, let me just double check that this is fine. Oh, well, if you were gone. All right, so I think I get, I must be doing this then. This, okay, and the timing happened to work out there. Is that coincidence or not? Okay, and then here we want to do this. Oh, well, I don't even need to do that. I can just do it here, right? I was thinking I need to like loop around and bring you down and then up again, but no, because I can just get, I can just go straight up. Okay, so we do this, you're gone. Then, have they got this already? Uh, and then hope the timing works out here. Ta-da, the timing did indeed work out. Great view. Wonderful, neat. I'm not doing too bad at these. This is a very small puzzle. Patchwork. Curious. Okay. What have we got? We've got some grass. So I can walk around down here and it's not going to bother anything. So in this case, so this is more like a like a non-stepping puzzle game in the sense that, like, obviously the whole puzzle isn't, but the initial state is more like a, a non-stepping game where I'm not, like, affecting anything. I just walk around and as long as I don't interact with something, um, everything's fine. Or I guess like, yeah, so, um, cause like one way to think about like state graphs in puzzle games is to think like, sure, each of these is a different state, but like logically in terms of like, like reducing the complexity of the state graph, um, uh, you can just like, you basically collapse all these to a single state because none, none of these actions is actually like, changing my connectivity to other states in the graph and if you're interested in that you should look for the the talk the talk about state graphs uh i, I can't remember the exact name of the talk um it's also to like it's also about microband one so you can talk about yeah i guess like search for microband one or state graph and it's by connector so um you can also find it that way uh and it's a very cool talk about puzzle state graphs um Oh, also just or, or just search for ThinkyCon because it was part of the ThinkyCon talks, um, and there are lots of other cool talks there as well. Uh, and you'll see me because I did the, the like I 
stopped organizing it and did the like questions and answers at the end of the video, uh, at the end of the talks and all that kind of stuff. All right. <laughs> anyway, it's enough of that plug. I mean, it's a plug for a cool talk that's relevant to what we're doing. Uh, patchwork. Uh, so, okay, monster gate. Four statues. Remind me, can statues see through each other? No. And, but there's two eyes. Okay, and then these are going to toggle. Okay, it toggles all of these. Interesting. Okay, and it closes those. All right. So I have to go in here to kill these. Nothing else is going to do it, which is doable. Like we just do this kind of thing. Oh no, we don't do just do this kind of thing. Oh no, what does that mean? What does that mean? That means I need to leave statues behind in certain places to block their view, but that has to be on, because they'll sink into the water if I make a hole. Okay. But I do need these toggle floors, that's the name, uh, to be closed. So these do need to be hit. Like if I'm crossing, those are going to be closed. Well, there's a statue that is there, but that would only happen if I went in there already. If I'm in there, I might as well just finish these eyes off, right? So, this is about making it so that I can walk through this space. Because nothing else is going to hit these as well. Yeah, okay. So how does one make it so that I can walk through these spaces? I mean, that's interesting, but this tile's gonna be gone. I mean, you're just gonna kill me. <laughs> Unless I do exactly the same pattern here and do that, but that feels bad. I mean, I guess you could be, oh. Maybe some of them are going to be stepping stones and some of them are not. Curious. Okay, so if this is ever going to work. Once I get to these, I'm safe doing just the, like, the sidestepping dance to get to the eyes. Here I'm not. But I am if they're filled in. Maybe I'm just trying to fill them in. Ow. Can I get you there? No. But I can get the other ones there. Let's just kind of see where this goes, because obviously I can get these two to different locations. Ooh. Okay. So, so all I'm doing here is turning this into safe space and this not. But I want to just keep going. I, like, I can clearly see that this is not what I want to ultimately do, but... I want to keep doing it just to understand like what might end up working. So at this point we can dance here, we can dance here, we can dance here, here we cannot dance. Mm -hmm. And so okay, so I'm only actually stepping on these right ones, at least with the direction I'm going. I'm only stepping on the right ones more than once. The ones on the left I'm not. So those could have remained trapdoors. And they could have just filled in these. So that might be the waste here. Like, maybe I just want this. Let's just, like, demonstrate that, like, to myself. And and to the viewer. <laughs> but it's also mostly just to myself. So like this, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then so somehow the next statues also help me. I mean, can I can I get them on those? Like, okay, uh, what if I don't do that one? Because you could go... No. Yeah, what am I doing with you? You just come down here and die. Then, this one we do the same thing. Then with this one, can we step... Oh, I maybe see. I think we want to do this. 
and then get the one that I dispose of over here, here. But I, can, I think I can only get the two furthest into these two spaces. So that means I need some other way of getting one here, I think. Or was that, was that just doable with these? Uh, that was just doable with these, okay. So I think I've got a plan. You go, oh, uh, you go there. We go across, I can't get you there, can I? Especially not without stepping on that. Okay, so what I'm actually doing is this, 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 you go there. Uh, no. I've ruined things because you also destroyed the thing, but also, like, you're not in the water. Okay. Um, uh, uh, no. Okay, how would I. That destroys both of those, but I can't get you there, can I? Get you there, that feels bad. I get you there. But then I can't get these here and here. And why is that what I want? Because one of them's gonna walk over this, but maybe maybe. That doesn't have to be true. I think that has to be true though. Because to get one to come along this top row, I have to like kind of walk along the top row myself. Therefore I'm gonna destroy the thing. Yeah, I think I need um, stepping stone, stepping stone, stepping stone, stepping stone. All flipped over because it's symmetrical, but um okay. Now, what are the restrictions here? I think the these two have to be, yeah, because like, how would I get you? You'd be able to catch up with me diagonally on that row. Once you see me, you'd kill me. So yeah, it's the back two that have to be there, so therefore the bottom two have to be these two. But how do I make that happen? That's what I'm struggling with. So this, that feels not great. Also, I'm not like, Sinking any of the things. That feels not great. Hmm. Yeah, that's not good. So, how do I fill you in? Is there a different kind of dance I could do? Okay, so. Let's. Ooh, it'd be nice to have some sand here where I could like do the dance. <laughs> Let's just imagine it. So you'd be fire. You'd be getting ready to fire. I said here you'd fire. You'd be getting ready to fire. Oh gosh, it's hard to imagine. Step forwards. Can I then like swap? I guess I can always like just like keep going. Hold up. So the situation I was doing, I was doing this, this, this. Rest turn. You're not shooting at me. I can go forwards. If I keep going, I'm on the rest turn there, I can keep going upwards. But then that means I stepped on both of them twice. And that means doing something that's kind of difficult. I guess I can always like break some things in advance and then do like this. Interesting. That is interesting, I think. Ah, that is interesting because I can break that and get you to go just like straight there. But it doesn't help with... Uh, how would I ever get you on this side without you just stepping on these? You would just step on these. What happens if I then walk through the grass after you're following me? You do follow me, yeah. Okay, so eventually you'll catch up. There's no way to avoid that because of your diagonal movement. Like it's funny, even the like implications diagonal move, like the statue's diagonal movement and how it means they can always catch up to me, is something that isn't still like fully formed in my head. Like I get it. Like you can take a shorter route because you can do like a row and a column when I'm only doing a row or just doing a column, but it's still not like a fully formed. I can't just like make like completely instinctive um, like conclusions about what must be true because of that, I still still have to experiment with it. Whereas I bet some of these like experience with Drod or whatever, where there's lots of diagonal movement would already 
be able to deal with those kinds of things. Um, okay, so what's the thinking? The thing yeah, I guess the problem is I just cannot get you across here. Without you breaking the thing. And then I come to a side step here. Okay. So that's not that's not okay. <laughs> is there a way to get you to follow me around the corner? No, there is definitely not. I'm never gonna be like walking around the back and attracting them this way. No. They just kill me as soon as I walked over here. Okay. Yeah, you have to cross over. Ah, but you, like I'm gonna be getting rid of this one anyway. Oh, we do the double down here. Does that make sense? That doesn't make sense. No, because I still like to get one hit. Let's once again just kill this one. I keep moving my cursor off screen, but I don't need to. It just disappears. <laughs> get rid of you. So once again, to get one over here, like into this space. I have to like do, I have to move over this way. And then that's gone. And then that's bad and I can't do the, the, I can't do the dance. And there's no way, like for you to go there, you have to go diagonally from that space. That's not going to happen. So it really feels like the two have to be here, right? I was thinking... Oh, I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, oh, I can't even walk over that way now. Of course. Hmm. Wait, obviously this is terrible, but I'm going to do it anyway. Then I'm stuck. Yep, I need to be able to do the dance the whole way. That means stepping onto a one of the things twice, that therefore means having the the stepping stone there. And stepping on the other one once. But somebody's gonna have to cross over. Somebody's gonna have to cross over to the other side. Because there's two statues on the left, two statues on the right, and I'm going to be double stepping on the same side every time. And they can cross, because I've got... So like, okay, so the other thing I was considering is that we can do something like... Um, no, 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 no. What was I thinking? Guess, let me get rid of this one now. And maybe this one? I I haven't fully thought through what I'm doing. But you could go there. Can I then get you... No, you're going to get rid of that one. Which is bad. Obviously I could get rid of that and then kill you there, but... Then I've got this problem. Maybe double in the middle? But once again, I can't get you here. I, I can't get the bottom two into these two spaces, so it's going to have to be these two, but I can't do that without going across, and then that gets rid of the thing. So the doubles have to be up here, right? So therefore the two back ones have to go these two. Am I wrong? Okay, don't forget that I can be using this. Is there something I can do by, like, there's two of these as well. Maybe that's just for symmetry. That's probably just for symmetry. But I can toggle these. Can that help me? Oh, that can help me. Can it? Can it help me? 
Yes, I think. Get rid of that. Oh, I guess what I'm thinking is like, can I... If I could get to you... I, oh, maybe I can once I get here? Yes, there we go. That's what I needed. Cool. That was hard to see. You kill you. Now. Hmm. Can I make this work? Oh, can I get... No. Wait, am I doing something wrong here? Am I doing something silly? Probably doing something silly. You die. Go this way, maybe. Ow. Is there an easier way to do this? I just want you to go there, please. Just go here. <laughs> Why don't you do what I ask you to do? Oh. <laughs> Done something else here. Could I have maybe maybe toggling? Ugh. They're just gonna get shot, aren't they? Maybe not. Holy moly! Okay, what if I pre-break some things? Does that help? That doesn't help because I can't walk across there. But I can't walk across there twice. That's fundamentally the problem here, isn't it? Could you chase me until there? Ooh. That would require, like, getting you to be on your rest. I don't think that's possible, no. Saying. No, I don't think so. Uh, uh, uh. I mean, yes, did that and die there? Maybe? <laughs> Is this useful? I don't know. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, oh, In interesting, but like, actually useful? I don't know. Hmm, I think not actually useful. Ah, but now I can't walk across here. <laughs> and I can't like, get you to follow me. Ow. Can I... I can't, like, get you stuck behind... No, 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 because you can go diagonally. Uh, wow. <laughs> this is one that I'm definitely not, like, really figuring out. I'm just, like playing until an interesting move happens and things happen to go in the right place. Um, could I have avoided something here? Like, I could... What if I just go across? Like, what if I go across as fast as possible? Or... No. But the best I'm doing is I could get you to come at the same time, which doesn't feel great. Ow. Right. Can I get it so that you're dying there? Of course I can. But the other one's not following me. If the other one were following me, I could kill it now. But it's not. Why would it be? get that one there? Is that useful? Like, maybe that one goes in that position and I can somehow get the other ones? I uh, can, can I somehow get the other ones to go to those positions? I mean, just to kill me. Like, maybe with the use of these? 
I don't see how. No, that's undo. Back to here. This is one of those that where the movement is so like hard to kind of really reason about that I'm not sure whether I'm in a dead end or not. Um, I don't think this is resolvable, is it? I can get you right behind me, I can get you there instead, but then the other one isn't following. The one can be following, but then I can't get across. And then that's gone, which isn't great. Uh, what do I do about this? Wait, why do I care about another one? Uh, well, because I need to go hit the switches. I the, the 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 title is patchwork. It's making me expect to like do more of a like a um, like a checkerboard pattern or something, but maybe not. Dead end. Like I, I want somebody to go here. How do I do that? So, well, I can get you there. Then how do I get the other one there? <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead. Hey, friends. I've got to do the dance of this and I don't I can't like double back anywhere I mean I guess I could but like okay problem is I can't like make this like water not water I, I, well I can't make this what am I even saying? I can't make this water and stepping stone because... I mean, I can make it water and stepping stone, but if, later on when I have to do the dance, I won't be able to go forward. So it'd have to be water... Uh, it'd have to be stepping stone and trapdoor at least, or stepping stone and stepping stone. Stepping stone and trapdoor I can't do because I can't get one into that space without walking across here. So there's, there's going to end up being water here. So I do need to get two in these spaces. And therefore the other... The other two rows are going to have to be what I'm trying to get so far, right? I think that's true. So how on earth do I get two in those spaces? It has to be the back two as far as I can tell. Although I've, I keep managing to figure out things that I haven't realized I could do, but... Um, it requires like walking horizontally across these spaces. And I can choose either of them. But I can't walk horizontally across it if the other one's not there. So how the... how, how does that make sense? <laughs> how can that ever make sense? I don't quite remember how I did this. Was, was this involved? This was involved. So that gets you around those. That's a really cool trick. It gets you around the bottom of there. But now what? Like it almost gets you like where I want you to be, but not quite. If you're one turn further away. I mean, sort of, but I've had to I have to step on some trapdoors there, which is not good. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to do. I 
don't want that, do I? I want this. Um, well, after I've cleared that out. Wait, so what did I gain by making you go down? Oh yeah, I stopped you from stepping on that. Yeah, okay. Which does feel good. But then... Does it help to do this the other way around? I think it does, does it? Isn't this the same? Maybe it's not the same because I can step on the ones below. It's still the same though, isn't it? Because I still can't get you there without walking over it. Uh. I wonder if I could have got one of the first two into this space by like bringing it down and back up again. I don't think so. But it's hard to say for certain. I can't have these both following me at the same time. I just realised the sound of you like becoming active sounds like... Is it like the Bowser fight in Super Mario World? There's like something like when you hit an enemy, it makes that noise. Okay, now just wait there <laughs> while I sort something out. Ah. Doing that wouldn't solve anything. No, they both have to be in these, like, how? How can that happen? How can I then run through again? Or, like, not run through and somehow just get you to go there. Can I get one of those there? Is that the trick? Like, the thing that I'm considering to be not possible, is that somehow possible? You. Um, you active. Let me get rid of one of them first. You come down here. Okay, now you. What can we do with you? What if this were a stepping stone I could like walk up? Well, I can't walk up, can I? Because the eyes are gonna kill me. Oh, the best I can do is bring you to here and then there. Huh? lift you up and then you can crush me with your feet maybe doing this in a different order is good or something get rid of you better than this for some reason See how it's any better? It's literally the same. Oh, I'm really not seeing like how to even pick this apart. I want to be able to step over there, but I can't step over there. But I also can't place a thing in these top rows without like having them doubled up. Therefore, they've got to both be there, but. I can't make that happen, I can't get the bottom ones into those spaces. So those two have to go there, but I can't do that because it requires me walking twice over these spaces. The eyes are there, can the eyes somehow do all my work for me? No, because they still have to get into that space. So I'd have to walk over here, but I can't because it's gone. But I can't not have walked there, because then you wouldn't have gone where you need to go. And this helps me avoid that problem. Uh... 
sure I can get you behind there, but I can't toggle the thing indirectly. I can't make the eyes hit the things. I can't make anything hit the things. Oh, now you're just gonna catch up with me. Is there some way that instead of me filling in both those things, I can use a dead statue rubble? Like, the, the, the picture that came to my mind is that you could be like there, and that affects like where you can go? Which is kind of curious, but... I mean, I could imagine that actually ending up working. If I could, I have left that. No, because I had to do that one still. But ooh, ooh. Uh, uh. is this? Is there an interesting idea in this? If this had been filled in, I could walk up, up. You'd be here, not there. But we could have done another rubble there, maybe? No, because I need to walk along this whole thing. So we need at least three here. We can't do more than one rubble. Is it, would it be feasible for me? Okay, so let's say we did that same kind of movement. I got you stuck over here. It's like potentially a way of getting you there, but then you kill this, which isn't what I want. Oh, but the other way round, hold on. The other way round, you would not kill something. Does that end up working? But I can't leave a rub I can't leave a rubble outside, can I? Can I? Can I? <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, so that the other way around, let's just like try it. So who are you? You are you, okay. Uh, okay, so I guess what I could do is put you here. No, not by doing that, by doing the other thing. Um, this. Then you then then <laughs> I don't even remember what I was thinking. No. No, this doesn't make sense. You go there, that's that's empty. Yeah, because then the next one to do that would have to be you again. But I've just killed you to be there. I can't attract you around the back, but I can. <laughs> I need to do the dance. And I can't see a way of setting up this without breaking the one next to it. But then to fill in the other one, we have to do something I can't do. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> How do I move forward with this? <laughs> I do not know. So what's the thing I can do? The, the trick I can do is... Well, I mean, it's not a great trick, is it? But, okay, you come down here. I 
guess I will get you like. Uh, I'm not sure I can even do it. Like, yeah, there, and then get you stuck behind that. Okay. Then I guess the idea was to do that, and then get you to go like there. Is that useful? Like if that had been, I guess if that had been down. No, because I've put you there. And I need to be able to here. Yeah. I can't like step there, step left, and then keep going upwards because then you'll shoot me. No, I need, I need, oh, yeah. I, <laughs> I don't know what to do with this one. Uh, I can't like drop the rubbles after I've put them down because it's not that kind of floor. It's not a trapdoor, it's a toggle. No, it's a. It is a trapdoor. <laughs> it does feel a bit arbitrary in those names. Um, I am stuck. The bottom ones can't go into these two rows, so these two have to. Well, as far as I can tell. But I might be wrong, I, I just might be wrong. If you're gonna see me, it's gonna be then. Maybe I should do this one first. I don't really see a reason why I'm doing this, but sure. Okay. Um, then maybe, maybe this one can go over there. Can it? I don't think it can. Uh, yeah, it can. Ooh, but only if it destroys that, which isn't great. that, which also isn't great. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. Um, so you are gonna go there. And we're in the same situation. Get you to go behind this. <sighs> I guess I can get you to go. Can I get you to go? I, like if I go up now, you'll go there. Now that's. Kinda interesting, but not really. Feels like I don't know. <laughs> like the movement of these things is just so hard to work with. I've got to find some like special little dance they can do that'll land in the right place. But how? But how? Just gonna destroy that, so I don't want that. So if you're gonna go over this way, I would like you to do it now, but then you're gonna get me. Okay. Okay. this up and then right. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, I don't 
get how I could do anything differently and I'm not having any ideas, which is maybe a sign that I should stop. Maybe it's a sign that I should stop. Maybe it's a sign I should stop. Okay, I'm gonna leave this for now. <laughs> All right, see you next time folks and we'll try and finish patchwork. Ow, I died. Okay, see you then, goodbye.